Hi, I'm Steve Clapham, and I'd like to introduce our Accounting Red Flag series. What we're going to do in this series is explain what you should look for in a set of companies' accounts. These tools, which we're going to uncover in a series of videos that we'll have both in our YouTube channel and with further explanation in the free training area of our club site, behindthebalancesheet.com, you can sign up there. What we're going to do is have a whole series of, of videos and blog pieces explaining why these tools are important and how you can use them as a private investor to make sure you don't get caught up in a fraud. The reason this is so useful is as a private investor, it'll help you avoid mistakes. Frauds always leave a trail. These tools not only detect frauds, but they also detect weakening businesses, and that's why they're so useful. And I believe they're an essential part of an analyst armory. So what we're going to cover in the, in the series of videos, we'll start off the first half dozen, we'll start off with the audit report, we'll then go into working capital analysis, we'll then talk about free cash flow conversion, Margin comparisons, really useful tool. Every fraud that I've examined has, to some degree or another, used inflated margins as one of the tools. So margin comparison with peers is a really valuable and powerful tool for you to use. We'll talk about related party transactions and we'll look at interest rate analysis. Don't worry. Don't think, oh man, this needs you to be a fully fledged accountant, a skilled professional analyst. They're not really that difficult. I mean, they're not absolutely simple, but it's honestly, it's not that difficult. I'll show you the things you need to look for, and it's quite easy to find them in the accounts. Anybody with a basic understanding of financial statements should be able to implement every single one of these red flags. And even if you don't have that basic understanding, you'll be able to do some of them. And let me please advise you, if you don't have that basic understanding, please go and learn. Obviously, I sell courses, but don't do one of my courses. Do a course, educate yourself, read a book. Apart from these checks, I'm going to sh show you you should just use your common sense. Investing should be pretty simple. And if something doesn't look right, doesn't feel right, or doesn't smell right, just wait for the next opportunity. Don't invest in something that you don't feel comfortable about. 